so my hair is up. I'm dressed, ready for the day. Um, my face is completely drenched, but I'm loving it. I'm actually loving it. Um, got my coffee right here. <sighs> okay, are we ready to get on with this day? Yes, we are. We will. Okay, enough of the chit chat. Let's get on with tidying it. I don't know if I'll do a montage. This video is gonna be completely, I don't know. I don't know how to do it. I wanna do it a vloggy style because that's what I know. I'm not like, you know. Welcome to present day Caroline. Right, so I'm editing this right now and I can hear how ill I sound in my voice. Um, and it's so crazy. Um, I didn't think I was that ill, um, but it sounds so heavy. I'm sorry guys. <laughs> I haven't made cake in so long, like so many years ago. There's gonna be no makeup today. I'm gonna look like this. Who cares? Um, I'm gonna be spending 21 looking like this. It's fine. Just think about it. It's a COVID year. COVID happened. We're still in COVID right now. No one cares. But last year, just think last year. I was living my best life. I was in Paris at 20 and then I turned to 21. <laughs> I don't want to be 22. Hi everyone, welcome to the vlog where I will be turning from 21 to 22. Um, it's crazy to think how the world has changed. Last year I was in Paris. This year I'm at home. Yeah, I'm at home um, and None of my friends can come over or anything like that. It's fine. This just, you know, this year just is a family one. That's it. Anyway, if you know me, then you would know that I love baking. Baking is like one of my passions. I used to want to be a pastry chef. Pastry chef. I used to love baking. I used to love making bread so much. Pastry, kind of my forte as well. Um, but ever since I hit uni, everything's just gone now. I don't do any of that anymore. Nothing. Nada. Um, so it's gonna be a real test to see if I can really get back into myself. Um, I'm gonna be using an American recipe just because I find cups just a bit, like, just so much easier than using, like, grams because obviously grams, like, you have to get the scales out. Whereas cups is like, cups, isn't it? So, um, I'll link the recipe down below just in case it might turn out good. <laughs> So whilst the cakes are baking, I'm gonna try on what I ordered from ASOS. I ordered a pair of shoes and I ordered a dress. We'll see if that works out because I want to wear this dress by Motel Rocks, but it's like one of my favorite things ever that I've seen. And so I'm like, mm, do I save that for like an occasion that we can actually go out in? Or should I wear it for my 22nd? I don't know. Um, but hopefully things will fit from ASOS, we'll see. Today is also a day I need to tidy up the room as well. This is where I'm gonna have the main like photo shoot, you know. What else can you do? Um, I will be filling this room with balloons, blue balloons, confetti balloons, you name it. Um, so it has to be really nice and tidy and also I'm gonna vacuum it all as well So the dress is a kind of like satin one and I've never tried this style of dress before so we'll see what happens Then I got a pair of shoes from Public Desire <sighs> They are a very beautiful blue. That is a very beautiful blue um, These are the shoes they're a pair of mules, and what size did I get? I got it in a size seven, I think, yeah, size seven. Um, we'll see what they're like. It's really hard to find blue shoes. Like, it's really hard. But we'll see what these fit like on. I hope they fit. I don't know, because size seven. I'm only a size down when I wear heels. Um, so we'll see what it's like. Um, this is fun. You can only see four of my toes um and they look like they don't fit me that's just a bit funny you know um where's my other toe i don't know my foot is sticking out of the shoe i don't know how to even get into this dress 
yes I'm all blurry again I love that for me um yeah so like, how am I supposed to step into this so you've got like an opening here but then you've also got like the top bit which like completely stops you from stepping into it properly I don't know what to do you know what I can't be asked to feel really fat today so I'm just gonna put it in the bag and return that all and forget about it I don't need that negativity in my life it's okay we've got other shit to do today let's tidy up so whilst I tidy everything up I'm going to bleach the peach fuzz that is on my face um it's looking a little bit prominent around my um what's that area called your moustache area so you know I need to deal with that um and also my lip I've got a spot right there I love that for me 22 is looking promising so I've been I've been doing this since like school college um but yeah I always use the boots hair lightener on my face and it just lightens the peach fuzz on your face so okay let's get this onto your face Right, okay, let's have a heart to heart. I know I look hilarious. Okay, let's forget that. I need to remove this now. <laughs> so basically, um, one of my friends just asked me like, oh, why am I doing all of this? Like, I say that I need to edit things. I need to take more photos. At the end of the day, my birthday is so important to me. It has always been important to me and I've always done something incredible to commemorate my birthday i love birthdays i love it when it's your birthday i love it when it's my friend's birthday i love it when it's like i love birthdays in general they're like my favorite thing ever um and i love celebrating birthdays what can i say and also whatever i put on instagram or something like that is like a portfolio of myself it is the best version of myself yes right now this is not the best version of myself but it's like a true reflection of what i do on a day-to-day -day basis do you know what i mean youtube is a different environment to instagram wherever i put on instagram you may see and think oh she doesn't look like that that's the best version of me that's the best angle that i've chosen for you to see me in that photo just remember that that doesn't really relate they don't really correlate but it's just been ringing in my mind like i i need to say something i don't know right i normally every year get ginger ray something i normally get a banner from ginger ray um but i bought some of their balloons because they always go down such a treat i love their balloons um so i ordered those on asos and then i got some balloons from asda blue white blue 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 loads of that and then i got some um i've got the bunting as well and then i got some of this but i don't know if i'll use that because i'm not a big fan of rose gold um and then i got more balloons and these are from Poundland, by the way, so let's hope that they go nice. Um, they're kind of yellow looking though, which is a bit grim. I did make an order on eBay for some bunt bunting? No, what's it called? The Royal Garland, but like iridescent because I didn't want rose gold. I also bought the fringe curtain thing from um, Poundland as well. Oh, sorry, my sister's socks were on the floor. Um, but anyway, so I bought those as well, but we'll see, because those were only a pound, whereas this was actually four pound something each. So we'll see, we'll compare which one I want, I don't know. So the cakes have cooled down, so we will be heading down to ice them. I'm going to do, um, I don't know if I want to do a whipped ganache um, filling, or I just want to do, keep it like simple, just plain milk chocolate ganache in the middle, in the centre, and then buttercream it all over. It's a process. Let me just have a think to myself. I do like whipped ganache filling though. It's just a bit lighter. But then I like the chewy ganache as well. Oh, I might do half and half. Oh. So the cake, why does my face look up? Actually, what the f <laughs> so 
don't know why my face is looking so blotchy on camera, but um, so the cake is resting in the fridge. It's got its first crumb coating around it. And then we'll add on the ombre stuff. So I'm gonna blow up these foil confetti balloons. Um, this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be long and it's gonna be fun. Um, and then I'm gonna blow up the rest. Don't know if I'm gonna use the ginger ray ones because they're fairly expensive for what they are, but they're really good quality. Um, and then we'll see how many balloons we have on the floor after I do. I think I'm gonna have 35 altogether. Hopefully, maybe. Let's go. What? Why is it a weird shape? <laughs> So guys, we've got a new shoe, another shoe. This is from PLT. Not that high of a hill, because I can't walk in high heels. And they're a really nice blue, like nice blue. Um, I'm gonna try them on now, just to see if they fit. These are in a size eight, so not like the ones downstairs. I am in my fake tan clothes, just bear in mind. I'm gonna look like a mess until tomorrow. But it's okay, we're in lockdown. Um, so. I graduated from university when I was 21. I went to Paris, I went to New York. Um, I always feel like going to places always counts as such a significant thing because it's such a big thing all the time. Like to me it's so big to travel um, because I love it so much and I feel like that's an accomplishment because it's something to like cross off your bucket list. Um, what else did I do this? year of being 21 um i've learned how to do some sick nails like sick um i think i've learned to appreciate myself a bit more and have higher self value before i always searched for other people's approval i was never happy enough for myself and by myself i am still trying to practice self-love and everything like that you know how it is you don't just get it overnight like you can never fully love yourself like i i commend the people that actually do like they get out of bed they're so confident with themselves and it's just like how where on earth do you get this energy from i wish i could harness that but i can't i don't think my, my mentality is that strong enough for me to be like oh you know um but yeah like i'm gonna be 22 soon and i'm not ready yet 22 the thing about getting older for me is that i haven't hit any of my targets and like everyone has those targets mentally all the time um they're always in the back of my head and it's like caroline by 30 you want to be like settled down already we're having a house paid off with kids be married all of that it's three minutes till my birthday. It's currently 57 past 11 right now. 10th of January. Gosh, it's nearly my birthday. I'm gonna be 22 soon. What I failed to mention as well is one of my highlights of being 21. I hit a thousand subscribers on YouTube. I never thought that day would come and eventually it did. And it's been long, it's been slow, but I didn't put in the work that I should have done, but that's a milestone that I did hit when I was 21. Uh, when I was. That didn't have a ring to it. <laughs> Fuck, it's my birthday. <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> I'm so... <laughs> Guys, happy birthday to me. <laughs> I'm birthday officially 22. <laughs> oh my goodness me. Wow. I'm 22. Hello there. Hi guys, my name is Caroline Lack and I'm 22. I'm no longer 21. It's January the 11th today. My Instagram bio yeah. is no longer going to be that anymore. I'm going to take that away. So, I've woken up physically fine. I am physically okay. I can conquer the day. But, I cannot taste or smell. This really worried me last night so last night you know how fake tan you can smell it on you like i can smell the stench of it usually last night i could not get a whiff of it i was like what the hell is happening normally i stink of it i reek of it 
this time nothing at all which is really strange um and then literally at three o'clock in the morning i was so worried so i took my burberry weekend this stuff is very strong i can't really smell it i have to stick it up directly into my nose to get a whiff of it i can't taste that much either my mum gave me some cookies she said these are quite sweet i can't taste i like it's a weird like description like I taste they're sweet but they're not sweet to the point where they're sweet to be a cookie so I've booked a test for this morning happy birthday to me <laughs> okay so I'm just getting ready because it's my birthday I'm going to be getting ready for my birthday covid ladies were saying how nice my nails were I made a tiktok if you want to check that out anyway so went to the test center can I just say that experience is horrible, absolutely horrible. You're not in it alone, but you are kind of. They don't do it for you. The man didn't do it for me. He just stood outside my cubicle, sort of went through it all, walked through the motions, da da da. I took that swab, tonsils, tonsils, coughing, gag. I was not comfortable at all. That was, that was like, the that was like one of the least that should have that was the least of my worries that's what i'm trying to say but then because i was so scared of putting it up my nose and then putting up your nose see that's another story as well it's uncomfortable because you've got to keep them there for like five seconds on both tonsils and you can't touch your mouth can't touch your teeth anything like that tongue yeah can't do that and then you've got to stick that thing up your nose for 10 to 15 seconds that's so uncomfortable for that length of time it's gross and you take it out you put it in the vial pack that away then you're done with it i'm just you know feeling a bit i just felt so uncomfortable throughout the whole thing so balloons are done we just need to finish off by getting ready i didn't wash my hair i kept it greasy because What's the point of like slicking everything back if it's gonna like be what like I'm gonna have to wash it after anyway. So I am 22. I'm currently getting ready and um, contouring my nose, making it look snatched. Um and then we'll get ready with the photo shoot. So we're gonna put the garland all down there and then create that as like the photo background. Then all of these balloons are gonna surround me on the floor like so. The Instagram post is what gets me the most because if I don't like it, then it's gonna annoy the hell out of me. Two packs of the rainbow garland, not rainbow garland, what is it? It's like iridescent fringing to go across my cupboards. But um, say if like I didn't, vibe with them that much um we have got the poundland stuff as well to play with and yeah definitely i highly recommend you guys go and check out poundland and obviously your local supermarket just to see what party supplies they have because there is a ton out there so we've got this this is kind of yeah this kind of goes with like the um blues more i really like this one and again i bought two i'll link everything down below if i can find it all That is my background for photo shoots. So duh, we got balloons on the floor. Um, I needed half of my dresser because I just thought like that's a bit excessive to have it all done up like so. I highly recommend the um, fringing off of eBay though. That worked pretty well. The fringing from Poundland, now that is shocking. Um, I know it's only a pound, but it did rip. It ripped, so we had to 
rescue it with some cellar tape. Um, the balloons from Poundland didn't last. Some of them, yes. This one didn't. Um, the balloons from balloons from Azza, perfect. Love them. Just these aren't that crystal clear. 